morning everyone. Happy Monday. Um, today I'm really excited to share with you a few tips on how to make a simple at-home flower arrangement. So today I picked up some white hydrangeas and I also picked up some purple roses. So let's get started. Hi everyone, so today uh, I'm going to show you the things that you will need in order to make your flower arrangement. So you'll want to have one to two bouquets. You're going to want to have um, a pair of scissors, a vase, tape, pennies, and the plant food that the bouquets come with. So in your vase, go ahead and add some water, add the plant food. Mine came with two packets since I had two bouquets. And then with your tape, you're going to make a grid. Now, depending on how big your flowers are, you're going to base your grid off of that. So originally I was gonna have a two by two grid, um, but that didn't really allow a lot of room for the hydrangeas and they're pretty big flowers. So I made it a two by one um, with the tape and then this is just an awesome um, way to make your arrangement look fuller and more professional. Then we're gonna grab the pennies. These pennies allow us to um, have an antibacterial agent against um, any bacteria that may affect the flowers and so we're gonna add that and so you're going to add your flowers. I have mine pre-cut, but and essentially what you're going to do is you're going to um, take your flower and see how tall it is in the vase. Originally the hydrangea was super tall, so I made it shorter. I cut it at an angle and I removed some of the foliage. Okay, so I'm gonna have my hydrangeas as the base and I'm just gonna insert them kind of broadly in the vase. Now once I have that, I'm going to add the purple roses over here. So these are the accent pieces that I want to have. And I'm going to take a second to remove the extra foliage on these roses. Alrighty, and as you can see, I took off the extra foliage on these roses. And these are this is the extra foliage from um, the hydrangeas. I find that doing this allows them to last a bit longer and it creates more room um, for making the bouquet. So now I'm going to add the roses and they're going to be my accent pieces in this bouquet. And do you see how the tape is allowing for more of a fuller spread out bouquet? That's why I really love that tip um, and I hope you guys love it too. So we're just going to evenly spread it in the bouquet. Hello! So as you can see, we have our beautiful full arrangement. This cost me around $12 for the flowers and I already had the materials in my vase. Um, so as you can see, the grid helped make the bouquet look fuller and this is a really awesome way to uh, make an inexpensive bouquet as opposed to buying one. Um, and then you can get these flowers from a local grocery store and Essentially, again, what I did was I took the hydrangeas and I um, measured how tall they were and I adjusted that to the height of my vase. 
and then I put those in. There were three hydrangeas, and then I trimmed the height of my roses accordingly, and I made them a little bit shorter than the hydrangeas. And you can just put them all around, whatever looks beautiful to you. And then this is the final product. Thank you all for taking the time to watch how to make a simple, affordable, and easy at-home bouquet.